What's going on everybody? Joe here today with my last take for this subscriber's choice. That's right. I came, I saw, I conquered. Today, I am focusing on 20, 23 by Michael Jordan. This is not the regular Michael Jordan. This one will come in like a silver box with the numbers 23 on it. Not a black box that just says Michael Jordan. Just for clarification. Um, this fragrance is a cheapy but actually pretty decent. You can find it at your Marshalls or Ross for like for like 12 bucks 12 to 15 tops I would not spend more than 16 bucks for this cologne um, this is OD toilet concentration 100 milliliter bottle um, yeah do not spend more than 16 bucks on this you will get even if it's 1650 you will get ripped off this fragrance it's actually pretty good for like this time of the year you see it's bright it's a little hot but not too hot you know um it's a very fruity kind of musky and definitely has fig some of the main notes that i'm getting on me is like a citrus with watermelon and fig um, those are like the main players, but then I also get a little bit of a black current in there. But honestly, like the, you know, the bio, at the end of the day, the heart of this fragrance is watermelon and fig. Um, again, a pretty decent scent, especially for the price. This is a very good fragrance for like high schoolers who just need a casual slash gym fragrance. Um. You know, this thing is actually received somewhat well, despite it sitting closer to the skin. It'll sit pretty much about right there, which is about a good three to four inches. Um, despite it sitting close to the skin, it gets received well by people. I mean, when I was buying it before I even bought it, the lady that was in the line in front of me, you know, was like, that is such a great cologne, so I know you're going to get a lot of attention with it. Um, did this grab more attention than any of my heavy hitters? No, not at all. And I wouldn't expect it to for $12, 13 however much I paid for this. But at the end of the day, it's a pretty decent one. I actually, you know, I have the nostalgic memories with the regular Michael Jordan cologne. But this one actually, you know, held up. It, you know, overall, this was a pretty decent fragrance from the house of Michael Jordan. Um, now, yeah, well, anybody who, like, is hardcore niche gonna go out, buy this, and be amazed? No, not at all. Again, if you're really looking for a nice, warmer weather fragrance, pretty decent fig base scent, or if you're just looking for a good fragrance in general under 20 bucks you know give this one a check um the other strike against this fragrance that I will have to say is the longevity longevity on here I'm only getting four hours so with two and a half projecting the way that you know at that four inch mark that I showed you so with that being said I obviously see this for the warmer weather time. Can't really pose as a signature scent and I can't see any women trying to pull this one off. Um, so yeah, there's pretty much my thoughts and my opinions on Michael Jordan 23. It's a pretty solid frag. It serves its purpose in my collection. Um, so yeah, I mean I've used it time to time and it's gotten me a little you know a head turn here and there some hey you smell good Ooh, what's that just because probably the fig you know not too many fragrances have fig and watermelon 
let alone together fragrant watermelon. So it is it's a pretty decent fragrance that you should check out. You know, I'm not about to hype this one up. I honestly would rather you choose Chrome Legend, which I'm going to be talking about rather soon or really soon. But um you know, this this one isn't bad though. So there's pretty much my thoughts and opinions. If you've tried Michael Jordan's 23, um, let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if you know you want to try Michael Jordan's 23. Let me know any thoughts and opinions at all. Um, man, I need a haircut. <laughs> um, sorry about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. My name's Joe, and I'll see you all later.